local miner Ian Holland is hoping to sell his lease, but a broken excavator is preventing Parker from testing the ground. My greatest fear is that we come away from here without really having any idea about how good this ground is. Do you know what I mean? That'd be the worst thing. Unable to source spare parts quickly, Ian brings in a new excavator. Where we're planning on mining now was where a lot of good gold was found in the past by the old miners. It's where they concentrated on mainly and got the better gold. So I'm confident it's going to go really well. Are you happy to have a go at carving? Well, let's see if Parker can't break your excavator. <laughs> Looking forward to seeing you drive. I've heard you're a gun. All right. See how this goes. Probably just go back maybe five feet and just sweep that up in front of the machine. It's been a little while since I've been in a piece of equipment. So where Parker's from, he's used to chasing fine gold and running it through big machines. It doesn't matter if the gold gets damaged. But here, the nuggets can have a, quite a good premium, so it's got to be done properly to be, ensure you do not damage that gold. Yeah, I'm definitely not used to needing to, like, be careful about digging. Like, in the Yukon, it's just blow and go and not worry about a thing, really. See this coloration of the blue? Mm-hmm. That's not normal. And this here, I just, this is, this is a dead giveaway. That's timber. That's a piece of wood. Gotcha. There we go. So the old miners have mined along here, so it will definitely persist with this. This is as good a chance as any of finding something. Ian relies on finding large collectible nuggets to sell at premium price. Parker's preferred mining technique relies on ground rich in fine gold, like the Yukon, where a steady source earns him a profit. These are obviously going to catch the smaller Smaller things. stuff, yeah. I feel a bit of pressure because, obviously, I'm meant to be the one showing good ground, so I'm really hoping there is gold in that dirt. Tyler and Fred set up the trommel to catch any fine gold from one yard of sampled dirt. You ready? Let's do it. Well, I'm hopefully, this thing started like a, a dead horse last time we tried to start it, so we're kind of hoping it fires up the first time. We've got the trommel working, thank God. So now we're going to put the pay dirt through. I'm just having a look at it. And I've seen this, which is a big cluster of clay, like a conglomerate, and full of rocks. Can you see how? weathered away they are. This is a very good gold indicator and this is what you're looking for when you're running pay dirt through this area. The pay dirt is fed into the plant through the hopper and then enters the rotating drum where jets of water wash it, separating the worthless material from the heavier gold which falls into the sluices below. So the big question now is, will Parker be happy? That's always the question. Oh. We've got something. Let's see what this is. That's the sound, right? Ian? Whatever yeah, that sounds absolutely awesome. If we move that loose stuff, well, put, pop the detector down and run each half over it separately. Yeah. So I'm, I'm thinking we've got a bit here. Hey, here we yeah. go. Really? It's fine, yeah. we have it. Yes! <laughs> it's what I'm looking for, but nowhere near as large as what I'm looking for. That's impressive. Beautiful gold. A hell of a lot different than what we do in the Yukon. 
You could go a month and not find a single piece of gold and work 12 hours a day and then find a 100 ounce nugget and you just made a quarter million dollars in a month, but you spent 29 days finding nothing. It's kind of like the lottery of gold mining right here. I'm gonna like lose everything I've ever made trying to hunt gold nuggets in Australia. Does it seem all right? Yeah. Yeah. Back to doing cleanups, Fred. It's a lot warmer than the last one you did. This huh? is fantastic. I'll take this any day. The mats beneath the sluices hold the gold-rich concentrate. The team wash them in buckets, and then Parker uses a pan to separate the gold. First pan of Parker's Trail, Australia. What's the most you've seen in a pan where you've taken it straight out of the cut? Oh, God, I've had some killer pans in the past. Serious? Yeah. What's a killer pan? A gram? Yeah. Whoa. That only happened to me one, that's once in seven years. A piece there. Look at that. Seriously? What the? Are you kidding? Holy How much is that? That's at least a gram, isn't it? Wouldn't it be? That's the trauma works. <laughs> <laughs> I've never panned gold that was that nice looking. I wish I had some ground like this in the Yukon. One yard of dirt has produced $40 of gold. That's twice as rich as the ground Parker mines in the Yukon. This is the best start to a trail. It is some really good ground, and it's unreal. Like, it's too bad we didn't find any massive nuggets. I am so bloody happy with it. I was getting so stressed all day. The trouble was my guy, and this ground was kind of my guy, so I'm glad for Parker to find those gold flakes and he get excited took a weight off my shoulders.